Hello students, today I am going to teach about new chapter is excretory products and their elimination. So here, first of all, what is excretion? Excretion. Excretion means to removal of to removal of nitrogenous waste products. Nitrogenous waste products. Nitrogenous waste products and also excess amount of water, excess amount of water, then excess vitamins and also drugs. Okay, so this elimination, elimination of these products is called excretion. So elimination of or removal of nitrogenous waste products and also excess amount of water and vitamins and excess of drugs. So elimination from the body. So is called excretion. So mainly excretions, excretion means to removal of nitrogenous, wa nitrogenous waste products from the body. So because here the nitrogenous waste products, they are very dangerous to our body. They are toxic substance. So they need to re remove from the body. So that, that is called excretion. Next, so these nitrogenous waste products, where they are formed, when they are formed in our body. So during oxidation of oxidation of proteins during, ox during uh, energy reduction process, protein metabolism or oxygen uh, oxidation of proteins and also proteins or amino acids. Okay, next nucleic acids, nucleic acids. So during this process, the ammonia or nitrogenous waste products are released released in our body so oxidation of proteins okay or protein metabolism or amino acid metabolism okay or nucleic acids nucleic acid is of oxidation of nucleic acids during this process the nitrogenous waste product is released into the body so generally here for example okay so for example this is the one amino acid one amino acid okay so here so in this amino acid process uh, in this amino acid so this this is the amino group so amino group is separated from this group so this process is called deamination deamination process so during the deamination process the ammonia is among the nitrogenous waste product is separated from the this amino amino acid so remaining this compound is turned is transferred into the carbohydrate carbohydrate and then after that it produces energy so during this process the during this deamination process the nitrogenous waste products are released in our body generally the nitrogenous waste products are three types ammonia urea uric acid so in the all living organisms three types of nitrogenous waste products are produced they are ammonia urea uric acid okay mode of excretions so based on the nitrogenous waste product based on nitrogenous waste product okay the excretion can be divided into three types so that is first one Ammonotelism, telism, second one, ureotelism, ureotelism, third one, uricotelism. So, based on the nitrogenous waste product. So, these are three types. So, first of all, let us first we will discuss about ammonotelism. So, ammonotelism means the org uh, ammonotelism means the nitrogenous waste product the nitrogenous waste product is released in the form of ammonia is released in the form of ammonia that is nh3 okay so the nitrogenous waste product released in the form of ammonia so that process is called ammonotelism so here ammonia is a highly toxic substance it is highly toxic 
okay next it is highly soluble in water it is very easily it is easily soluble in water so that's why it need lot of water lot of water to excretion process okay ammonia is a highly toxic substance compared to others it is highly toxic substance next it is highly easily soluble in water next it needs lot of water to excretion so that's why in all uh, that's why aquatic organisms okay aquatic organism they excrete ammonia so they, they have the lot of water they are living in the water so they they have the lot of water so that's why they directly release the water ammonia into the water so examples uh, aquatic invertebrates aquatic invertebrates excrete ammonia and also bony fishes bony fishes they are these are ammon these are excrete the ammonia so that's why these organisms are called ammonotelic organisms ammonotelic organisms which means they excrete their nitrogenous waste product in the form of ammonia okay so this is about ammonotelism okay so this process is called ammonotelism which organisms uh, which nitrogenous ex product ex nitrogenous waste product is released into the outside so based on that the mode of excretion divides into this three types ammonotelism ureotelism uricotelism ammonotelism means they release the ammonia so these organisms are called ammonotelic organisms next second one second one is ureotelism second one is ureotelism so here the nitrogenous waste product nitrogenous waste product is released in the form of urea so that's why these organisms are called that's why this process is called ureotelism ureotelism here in vertebrates in what in vertebrates so the urea formed in liver okay so in the liver what will happen the nitrogen is the ammonia so first of all the nitrogen waste product is formed the ammonia is formed that ammonia reacted with carbon dioxide to form urea nh2 co nh2 so urea is formed in the liver so in vertebrates in some word in vertebrates so the urea is formed in the liver but kidneys are excretory organs which means kidney they are filter the blood only kidney kidney filter the blood filter the blood and separates the urea from the blood then send to the outside so kidney are not produce the urea actually urea is produced produced by liver so urea is produced in the liver the ammonia reacted with water to produce urea okay in ureotelism so here this urea is a, here the urea is a less toxic less toxic than than ammonia it is less toxic than ammonia it's nearly 1 lakh times 1 lakh times is less toxic 1 lakh time less toxic it need less of water it need less water okay so this is next these organisms which organism they excrete urea they that organisms are called ure, uh, uricotelic sorry ureotelic organisms examples cartilaginous fishes cartilaginous fishes amphibians amphibians and mammals and mammals are all ureotelic organisms these are ureotelic organisms these organisms are called ureotelic organisms because they excrete urea okay 
next some organism they shows the dual mode of excretion some organism shows the dual mode of excretion some organisms like for example earthworm earthworm in the earthworm if plenty water plenty of water is present lot of water is present plenty of water is present it excrete ammonia okay it lot of water is available it excrete ammonia if less water is present less water is present it excrete urea okay next uh, lung fishes lung fishes so when they are active when they are active they excrete ammonia when they are during in hibernation process hibernation they excrete urea so during hibernation process uh, the body activities all are minimized so in that process they excrete urea next in amphibian in amphibians for example frogs in frog larva excrete ammonia larva excrete ammonia next adult adult excrete urea so that's why some organism shows the dual mode of excretion okay earthworm lungs lung fishes and frogs according to the water availability they change the their excretory products also so this is about urea uh, ammonotelism and ureotelism okay next uricotelism uricotelism which means the nitrogenous waste is released in the form of uric acid the nitrogenous waste product is released in the form of uric acid so here also the ammonia is converted into uric acid so here uric acid is very very less toxic toxic than urea also than urea it is very less toxic substance next it is insoluble in insoluble in water so it excrete it excrete in the form of in the form of semi solid pellets semi solid pellets okay it excrete in the form of semi solid pellets so this is about uric acid next uh, arthropods arthropods sorry arthropods and land snails land snails and uh, reptiles reptiles and birds these are excretes the uric uri uric acid so that's why these organisms are called uricotelic organisms uricotelic organisms so this is about uricotelism so according to the nitrogenous waste products the organisms can, can be divided into three types ammonotelic organisms uriotelic organisms and uricotelic organisms